Hi guys, Serena here with Balchard Mill and today I am in the kitchen making chocolate chia pudding. I asked the other day for some ideas on recipes that you guys wanted to see more of and a couple of things that I got that were re repeated across everything was nutritious, um, easy, uh, and also um, sugar-free. So I'm playing around with a couple of different options for you guys. Typically chia pudding is just mixed together. It's your milk or dairy alternative and chia seeds that's mixed together and put in the refrigerator. This is my take on it. I am putting it in a blender because I actually have people in my household that have texture issues with chia seeds and chia pudding. So this is my workaround for getting in that nutrition boost from the omega-3s, the fiber, and the protein in the chia seeds, but also being able to enjoy a delicious treat either in the evening as a dessert or breakfast, which you guys know, if I can, if I can have a dessert for breakfast, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do today. I'm going to add the uh, almond milk is what I'm using. You can use whatever kind of milk you have or whatever you wanna use. Um, coconut milk is fantastic in this. Um, also, if you're not dairy free, you can use your regular milk that you typically use. So I'm gonna pour that straight into my mixer or my blender. And then I'm gonna take my chia seeds, which I happen to love. And I'm going to take my cocoa powder. So I'm using a Dutch process um, cocoa powder, super dark. Love this one. It, um, try not to get it everywhere on you guys. And um, I'm using mon monk fruit sweetener. Um, you can use sugar, date sugar, you can use honey, you can use whatever sweetener you choose to use. I happen to really like the golden monk fruit sweetener. It um, doesn't have any aftertaste to it, but it's a good um, calorie free, free sweetener for you. And I'm gonna add in just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just makes it extra delicious. And we're gonna put the lid on and get it mixed up. Should've grabbed my rubber spatula beforehand. So I'm gonna scrape this down and make sure that everything is mixed together and turn it back on for another couple of minutes. already looking nice and thick and creamy so that's what we're looking for so make sure all those little chia seeds get done in there okay I'm excited about this so this has mixed for five minutes and I'm gonna move that back so you guys can see and I'm gonna scrape this down because I don't want to miss any of this chocolatey goodness okay so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour this into some glasses because later on I'm gonna serve this with a little whipped cream for a treat but again there was nothing to this that is remotely bad for you. So this is a really great thing to have on hand for breakfast as well. Just add some berries to it, um, a little bit of coconut cream, and you're good to go. It's already getting thick from the chia seeds, the gel in them started to release into the liquid. So I'm gonna pull out the blade and scrape that down. And then we will, um, this, needs to refrigerate for at least an hour, two is preferable. Um, overnight is even better. It's gonna just start to um, get nice and creamy, be more pudding-like as it sits in the refrigerator. Okay, that's enough. And 
I'm gonna try to evenly distribute this. I don't wanna miss out for anybody. Let's see. Ah, oh, it already looks so good. Try not to make a mess too. <laughs> I'm notorious <laughs> for making a mess when I'm trying not to. Um, oh yeah, this is already getting nice and creamy. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is put these in the refrigerator, let them set up, and then um, we will take a look at them after they have done that. Um, okay, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Hi friends, our chia pudding has now been in the refrigerator for two hours. Um, we just finished up eating dinner, so it is time to uh, dive into some treats. But before we did, before I shared with my guys, I wanted to show you this deliciousness, right? I'm really excited. Um, and check out the texture, right? You would never know that this is healthy. I won't tell anyone either. All right, friends, until next time, I will see you then. Bye.